I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. And we've got a great show for you today. This is a very special show, and we're going to show you how to do something that I think you're going to find really useful. I know I did. So we're going to check this out, all right? Uh, first of all, let me demonstrate something for you, okay? You know that I have a device on my desk here that is she that will not be named. I call her she that shall not be named because... If you say the word, it wakes her up. <laughs> so we're going to do that right now. Let's give you an example of what I'm talking about. Alexa, music station. Playing Woofer Music Station. I you. How cool is that? <laughs> Alexa, stop. Now, what I just demonstrated is the ability to use She That Shall Not Be Named to play a radio station. You may say, ah, Dr. Bill, that's old news. Everybody knows you can do that. Hold on, hold on. You can do it with a regular radio station that's already in the She That Shall Not Be Named network, so to speak, or is in TuneIn Radio, or some service that is supported by she that shall not be named. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? What if you had an independent radio station that isn't in TuneIn Radio or some other large she that shall not be named supported venue? <laughs> what do you do then? Well, you can do a custom routine. She that shall not be named routines which I'm going to put right here at the bottom of the page because if I say it, she'll wake up and say something to me, which is not what I want right now. So anyway, as you may know, uh, I am Technical Director of Word of Faith Radio, WFR.org, Word of Faith Radio, and uh, my official radio voice. Anyway... That station is initially, the initial station was the main station. Since then, we now have four additional stations. So now there's five stations. Count them. One, two, three, four, five stations in the Word of Faith radio network. That means all of them need to be available to she that shall not be named. So I'm about to show you in this tutorial how to set that up so that you can talk to she that shall not be named and ask her to play any of our five radio stations. So let's do that right now. Today I want to show you how to set up Alexa routines on the Alexa app on your phone in order to listen to radio stations that are internet radio stations. In other words, radio stations that are not already in the Alexa app. And so in order to do that, we're going to open up a PDF document that I have here that is available off of WFR.org, Word of Faith Radio, that gives you the instructions on setting up the routines. So I'm going to now open up my phone. This is uh, my phone shared to my screen. And what we can do here is on the phone and let me grab the actual phone here so that I can do it literally on the phone screen I'm gonna scroll up by just on the main screen here let me move this mouse out of the way so you can see it clearly uh, I'm gonna just gesture with my finger up the screen okay that brings me to the search this is on an Android phone of course and then I'm gonna either search for Alexa, which I could do, or I already see Alexa there. So I'm going to tap that. That's going to bring up the Alexa app. Once I do that, 
down here at the bottom, at the very bottom right-hand corner, are three little bars and the word more. I'm going to touch that. And you notice the next option here is routines. So I'm going to touch routines. And you can already see I have the routines set up here on the Android phone. But in order to illustrate this, I'm going to go into the main station uh, option here. Go to the three buttons here at the top what's called sometimes the hamburger menu and I'm going to delete that routine. It'll say routine deleted successfully and take us back to this main screen. So if we want to add a routine, notice the little black dot in the upper right hand corner. There's a little plus sign. If I click that plus sign, it's telling me to enter a routine name. Now the name of this routine is going to be main station. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. All right, main station. Now I'm going to click the next in the upper right hand corner. And when this happens, notice when this happens, we're going to hit the little plus sign over here to the right beside that. And we're going to set it to voice. And we're going to enter in what you're going to say when you activate it. Notice the keyword is already there. So we're going to leave that alone. And we're now going to type in main station. Okay. Once we've done that, we click next. And notice it says now when you say keyword main station, it will show up and then add action. We want to hit a plus here. When we do this, say this routine phrase, we want it to do this action, the very next thing. So we're going to put in um, custom and we're going to enter what we want to ask the device. All right. So let's go ahead and type in this phrase, ask, lowercase m, lowercase y, capital T, U-N-E-R, my tuner, notice how it's spelled, radio, capital R again, and then the rest, lowercase, my tuner radio, to play, W O. FR main station. Now, the key to this is to get this typed in exactly right. All the uh, upper and lower case correct. The phraseology has to be correct. No punctuation in it, whatever. So now we hit next. And the from at the bottom already says the device you speak to. So we're going to click Save. Now it, say it, may, it says it may take up to one minute for voice routines to be active, but you notice that in the list now we have Main Station. My computer, of course, is throwing up <laughs> information, so I'm going to get rid of that off the screen. But uh, Main Station, Speak Faith Station, Music Station, Bible Station, Healing Station are all available there. So I'm going to hit the uh, little uh, button here at the bottom, at the very center of the bottom. That'll take me back to my main screen. And that's all we need to do on the phone. So I'm going to put the phone aside, and I'm going to come up here and get rid of that. And as you can see, all of the stations for WFR.org, uh, Word of Faith Radio, are listed here. The main station the Healing Station, the Bible Station, the Music Station, and the Speak Faith Station. Okay? Now, this information is available on a document, or in a document, I should say, uh, called wofr-alexa-routines.pdf on the WFR radio site. And if we go to the radio site, let me go there. All right, we're on Word of Faith Radio's site. You notice up here at the top, 
there's a button here, Resources, right at the very top. If I click on Resources, then you'll see a list of resources. And I'm going to add this document to this list of resources. So you'll see it here uh, at the top underneath Resources, uh, the word Resources, when I add it in. But at any rate, uh, I'll do that after I finish the video. I wanted to do this little tutorial for you so you can see how to set it up on your phone because that, in effect, is what you might call the hard part. <laughs> okay? So at this point, if we go back to the main station, I can now play the main station right here on the computer, but I can also do it through voice commands. So let's, let's do that. Alexa, main station. So as you can see, it starts playing. Thank you, Lord. Alexa, stop. Now, each one of our stations can be played using this. Now, you may say, well, that's great, Dr. Bill. Uh, what if I wanted to put in another station? Well, most regular radio stations, over-the-air radio stations, are already in Alexa. So you don't have to... Uh, do anything special to set this up. You don't have to use My Tuner Radio. My Tuner Radio is a service that is available to you if you want to add a, an internet radio station into their um, directory. Then it gives you the capability to add these routines. So let's go down here to the My Tuner button on Word of Faith Radio. If we click that, it will take you to My Tuner Radio. Now this is their website. And this is what's going to, of course, run ads and so forth here because it's their website. That's how they get their revenue. But the thing is, at this point, you could go up here, sign in, create a free account, and then scroll to the bottom. And one of the options is broadcasters. And you can now register as a broadcaster, log in, and create links to Internet radio stations that will populate their uh, directory. So for instance, here at the main page of my tuner, if I come up here to the top and type in WOFR and hit enter, you'll see that all five of our stations are already listed for Word of Faith Radio because I entered them into the directory here. Now because of that, once they're entered, and once they're approved by the MyTuner Radio website, which requires several days, that's a, a process that is involved in doing that, once they approve it, then it will be in their system. Once it's in their system, then you'll be able to do the routines on your Alexa app. Now, I mentioned that for those folks that have independent Internet radio stations that you want to allow the Alexa routines to work using those stations. This is already done for Word of Faith Radio. As you can see, we're already part of the uh, directory here. So there's no need to enter it on, on this point. I just wanted to show you in case you had an internet radio station you did want to add to their directory, okay? So keep that in mind. This part of the tutorial is not for a regular Word of Faith radio user. It's just for those that want to add an internet radio station. And so I figure some of you are going to want to do that. I'd go ahead and throw that in at the end. But the how to set up the routine part, that's the key to set up your Word of Faith radio uh, voice command routines. Now, we're already on TuneIn Radio for two of our stations, the main station and the healing station. But TuneIn Radio cut off adding additional stations many years ago. And so we couldn't get any more there. So we went to my Tuner Radio to allow this uh, to work. So that's why we're doing it through my Tuner Radio rather than through TuneIn. Uh, so hope this helps and that this will allow you to have the convenience of using uh, She That Shall Not Be Named to... Uh, play the various radio stations in our network. Okay, there you go. I trust you enjoyed that tutorial today uh, on how to, to use She That Shall Not Be Named 
routines to set up internet radio stations. Now, if you are one of those few geeky few folks that have their own internet radio stations, I know some of you are geeky enough, you probably do, that latter part of that tutorial was for you. The other part is for everyone else, okay? And so uh, there are, you know, channel markers, station markers, timeline markers there at the bottom of the screen, whatever the terminology is <laughs> on YouTube, to allow you to uh, pick out only the parts you absolutely need and go back and play it over and over again until you get what you need, okay? So I trust you enjoyed that today. Remember until next time that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill, the computer promotion is a production of drbillbailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining. If you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ding the bell to be notified of future videos.